Hey, what's going on people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today we're gonna to be talking about the S Pin on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and we're gonna go over several tips and tricks. But before we do that, I do have some housekeeping stuff that we gotta get into. So first off, if you missed my previous videos, make sure to check those out. I'll be going over several things in this video that I recapped previously, and I probably won't get into too much detail, so make sure to watch my previous videos. It'll help you guys out a lot. Also, if you guys see a comment from this person, that's not me. That's the bootleg Jonathan, and I would never ask you to reach out to me on WhatsApp. That's just weird, and it's a scam. Stay away. Very important. Do not respond or contact that person. And last but not least, if you feel like picking up an S22, S22 Plus, or an S22 Ultra, make sure to use the links found in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment. They are my affiliate links. They don't cost you anything, and I do get a small portion back and it's just a great way for you to support the channel and all the work that I put into these videos. So the first tip or trick that I have for you is to make sure warn if S Pin is left behind is toggled on. It's typically on by default, but just in case go in and double check because it will prevent you from leaving your S Pin behind and losing it. So go into your S Pin menu or the air command menu, tap on the cogwheel in the bottom left hand corner, scroll down until you see warn if S Pin is left behind and make sure that is toggled on. Now, if you take your S Pen and say you leave it behind and your screen is off and locked and then you walk away, you'll receive a warning on your phone telling you that you left your S Pen behind. So there's the warning right there. One cool way to pass some time on the S22 Ultra with the S Pen is to color or draw. I got a lot of questions in my previous video about the built-in coloring book because it's not actually seen in the Air Command menu. You have to add it. So let me show you how to add the coloring book and also a few features inside of Pinup. So in order to pull up the coloring book, you're going to go into Air Command, tap on the plus symbol or where it says add. You'll see coloring right here. Just drag it and place it over on your Air Command menu. You can put it anywhere you want. Once you have it, go ahead and back out and there's coloring. And coloring allows you to pick different pictures that you can, you know, get your coloring in on. If you have kids, this is great. Or if you just like coloring yourself, you can do that. If you're more of a doodling person, you can go into your Air Command menu, then go under Pin Up. And here is where you can do live drawing. You can also do coloring. You can access the coloring book inside of Pin Up as well, but Coloring just gives you the straight coloring book without all the uh, drawing aspects. So these are two great options and there's also a lot of third-party coloring options inside of the Google Play Store like Colorfy and things like that. There's a lot of really talented artists on Pinup, as you can see. Just some really cool drawings. And if this is something that you're into, you might find these uh, to be inspirational. So if you do end up doing a few drawings, make sure to post them on Instagram and then tag me in them. I would love to check them out. Smart Select is another feature that's really useful. It's not new by any means, but if you're new to this phone and new to the S Pen, it's going to be new to you, and I absolutely love it. There are three main things that I use Smart Select for. The first one is removing backgrounds and superimposing images. The next is being able to pin things to your screen like SEO tags for Instagram and YouTube to quickly copy them into your post, and also creating GIFs or GIFs, however you say it. Let me show you how to do all three. Okay, so for this example, I have uh, this picture right here on Instagram of this rug. Let's say I want to superimpose this rug on this image, you know, just for SNGs. So let's go ahead and go into Smart Select. I'm going to use the one with the little cloud so that way I can draw around the rug like so. Oh, messed that up. We'll do it one more time. Draw around the rug. And then now I'm going to tap on, it's like an upside down U in a cloud, and it's going to clean up the image. You can see it selected the rug. It's not perfect. And from here, I can add on to the selection with the plus sign or take away the selection using the minus sign. But we're just going to go ahead and tap done, save it the way it is, save the image. Now I can go into my other image, tap on the editor, tap on the little smiley face down here on the bottom, go to stickers tap on the gallery logo on the far right corner, screenshots, tap on the screenshot that we just did, tap done, size it up, angle it right. Once you have it correct, tap save. And that is how you can superimpose an image onto another image. 
Pretty cool. So now we're gonna create a GIF or a GIF, however you say it, and we're gonna use my man Edabong from Board at Work. I'm gonna create a little animation with him. So we're gonna go into Air Command, tap on Smart Select, tap on GIF or GIF. We're gonna move the window up to the top like so. Make sure it's centered. Then we can select the quality. So the record quality is going to be high, but you can go to standard if you wanna save a little space. Once you're ready, tap play, tap record. Let it record. You can go up to 15 seconds. For this example, we'll do like seven or eight seconds. Once it's done, tap stop. And there is our GIF or GIF. And from here, we can pin it to the screen. We can download it so that way we can put it on social media. And it's just a clever and cool way to create a little animation of your videos or from a friend's video, something that you've seen on social media, so on and so forth. So this next one is great if you do a lot of posts on social media, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube, and you want to reuse hashtags that another person used, you can go into Smart Select. So we'll go ahead and go into Smart Select, and then I will tap on the far right one. It's like a box with a little pen and I can drag that box over the hashtags that I want to use and then pin it to screen. And I can drag that around and then I can manually type in all the hashtags right here into my post, that way I can use them. Or you can do things a little bit easier. You can go into Smart Select, tap on the square, and then draw a box around the text that you want to use. Then tap on the little T in the middle and then we'll extract all of that text, copy it, now, if I go into a note, I can paste all of that text right there or I can paste it directly into my post. So it's different ways that you can extract hashtags from other social media posts and use them for yourself. That way you can make sure that you're keeping up with the SEO game. There's a lot of other ways that you can use the pin to screen feature, including like pinning an email and responding to it that way or pinning passwords or different accounts. So let me know how you use pin to screen. Another really useful feature with the S Pin is Translate. And what it does is it allows you to hover the S Pin over words and then translate those words. But it doesn't just work with text on the screen. You can actually take a picture and then translate that text. So let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this sign, like so. And now, if I pull up that picture, go into the Air Command menu, tap on Translate, and then hover the S Pen over words, in the picture, it will translate those words. So how cool is that? Like, look at this. I'm translating it from English to Japanese. I can copy that text and then send it or paste it into a different document. That's really useful. Another more practical approach to using Translate would be to translate a menu. So I have one pulled up right here that's written in Spanish. If I go into Translate inside of Air Command and then select Spanish to English, take the S Pen and hover it over the word that I need translated, you can see it translates the word no problem. And you could also do different phrases and things like that. So this is really useful for ordering food in another country if you don't understand the menu. So there you go. I really like Translate, it's a really cool feature. Air Actions are a fun way to interact with the S22 Ultra. They allow you to hold down the S Pen button and then do different gestures in the air to control your phone. In a way, they kind of make you a little nerdy. They turn you into like a Dungeons and Dragons warrior, but nonetheless, they're fun and you can customize them. Let me show you how. So if you want to customize the Air Actions, you can go into the Air Command menu, tap on the little cogwheel in the bottom left corner, tap on Air Actions, and here you can toggle them on and off, so you can just turn them off if you don't ever plan on using them. If you do plan on using them, keep them on. And then right here, it gives you a breakdown of what the actions are and how to perform them. And then you have the apps that are compatible with Air Actions. If you tap on the app, like camera, you can go in and customize the actions. The actions are a little limited, but nonetheless, you can um, customize them. So you can customize what happens when you single press the S Pen button, double press it, and then these are all the gestures right here. So if we go back, you have a few apps that are not turned on by default. So make sure to double check here every single time you download a new app because they might be compatible with Air Actions. So we have Chrome and Expert Raw. Let's say I wanted to turn on Expert Raw, I can. And then I can customize what the Air Actions do. So the up arrow can do nothing or it can zoom in or decrease view angle or increase the view angle. And I can do this for each action. I can also customize the single press and double press functionality. 
So this is pretty cool. It's a cool way to customize air actions and get a little bit more functionality out of the S Pen and the phone itself. So going back to the air commands inside of the camera app, I covered it in my previous video, some cool tips and tricks regarding the S Pen and how to use it with the new camera on the S22 Ultra. So make sure to check that video out. And I also will be going in depth with it in my camera tips and tricks video. But nonetheless, the camera controls with Air Command and the S Pen are really cool. If you want to create a note on the fly, you can do so by simply holding down the S Pen button and then double tapping on the display. But you have to make sure the setting is turned on. Let me show you where to find that setting and give you a quick example. So here's an example of what I mean. Hold down the S Pen button and then double tap on the display and you can see it pulls up the Note app immediately. If you want to use this setting, go into Air Command go into the settings by tapping on the cogwheel in the bottom left corner and make sure create quick notes or quick create notes is toggled on. Once that's toggled on, you'll be able to quickly jot down a note just by holding down the S Pen button and double tapping on the display. It's really useful, but you can take this one step further by downloading GoodLock and Pentastic. So you can download GoodLock by going into the Galaxy Store and then doing a search for GoodLock. And then once you download GoodLock, you can go into the family setting right here in the bottom right corner and then downloading Pentastic. And then inside of here, scroll all the way down to double tap shortcut. And right here, you can customize it to do different things. So I have mine set up for magnify. So if I back up, hold down the S Pen button, double tap to display, you can see magnification comes up. I can adjust the level of magnification right here in the top right. So it's a really useful feature. If I go back into Pentastic, so we'll go ahead and get out of that. Go back into Pentastic. I can also do Translate, Bixby Vision, Screen Writes, Smart Select, or I can add one of my favorite apps such as, we'll say, Instagram. So you can customize the sound that happens whenever you pull out the S Pen. So you have Default, Basic, Heart, Croc, Lisa, and a bunch of others. You can also customize the actual little icon. So right now it's a point, but if you want a heart, you can do so. If you want to use the croc, you could do that. And you can also customize the look of air command up here. So this is the default air command, but you can have a compact version. You can have a line version, circle, retro. So it's really cool that you can customize the full S Pen experience using Pentastic. I definitely suggest that you dive in and check it out and make sure to customize the double tap shortcut. It's really useful. I prefer to keep it on Magnify, but Glance is also a great one. So with Glance, I can have an app pulled up and then double tap and it will pull that app into a little window down here on the bottom. And when I hover the S Pen over that window, it will pull it up. It's really useful and great for productivity work. Personally, when it comes to inputting text, I prefer to use a keyboard. I just get things done a lot faster. But if you want to use the S Pen, you can, as long as you have that setting turned on. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go into the Google Play Store and I want to do a search for a game, I can come up here and then I can handwrite what I'm looking for, like so, and it will translate that handwriting to text. You can see it did a pretty good job. Call of Duty, and there you go. So if you want to use that feature, go into Air Command, go under your S Pen settings, and make sure S Pen to Text is turned on. If you tap on S Pen to Text, you can also pull up the Show Handwriting Toolbar. If you don't want the Handwriting Toolbar, you can toggle that off, which was the little toolbar that I just showed you. However, I just leave it on. I don't even really use this setting much, but I know a lot of people want to get the most out of the S Pen, and maybe some people prefer to handwrite versus use a keyboard, and you can do so. And it's a pretty neat feature, I can't lie. If you're new to the S Pen and the Galaxy S22 Ultra, then AirView is gonna be new to you and it's by far one of my favorite features, so let me tell you about it. So what AirView does, it allows you to hover the S Pen over certain things on your phone to get a little bit more information without having to open that certain thing. So to give you an example, if I pull up my calendar and hover the S Pen over an event, you can see I get a little bit more information out of that event. If I go into my gallery, and then hover the S Pen over a photo, it gives me an enlarged version of that photo so I can peep into it a little bit more. You can also do this with links and you can control the scroll of your phone if you use supported apps like the Samsung browser. So if I do a quick Google search here and then go to the bottom of the page, you can see I can scroll down 
using the S Pen without having to actually touch the screen. And if I come up, I can scroll up without having to touch the screen. If you want to use AirView, go into your Air Command, go into your S Pen settings, and then toggle on AirView. Tapping on AirView will pull up a quick little menu so you can see everything that you can do if you forget. And it's a cool little feature that allows you to really utilize the S Pen a little bit more. AirView even works in third-party apps like Microsoft Outlook. So if I take the S Pen and hover over the contact, it gives me a little bit more information about that person. And if I hover over the email, it gives me a breakdown of that email. And from here, I can trash the email, archive it. I can mark it as unread or I can respond to it. So it's just a cool little way. So make sure, ah, I've already said that. AirView. AirView even works in third-party apps, so make sure to check out the applications that you have on your phone to see if it works. Right now, I'm inside of Microsoft Outlook, and if I hover the S Pen over a contact, it gives me the contact details. If I hover over an email, it gives me a breakdown of that email, and from here, I can delete the email, archive it, I can respond to it, and do a few other things. By default, whenever you pull out the S Pen, Air Command pops up, and this is cool, but it's kind of annoying sometimes. You can go into your settings, the S Pen settings, and then scroll down until you see when S Pen is removed. Tap on that and you can completely toggle this off. Considering if it's off, you can still access Air Command just by hitting the S Pen button. It'll pull up Air Command or you can tap on the little icon right here. If we go back into the settings and then go under when S Pen is removed, you can also have it go into Samsung Notes immediately. So if I put the pen back into the S22 Ultra and then pull it out, it'll pull up a quick note so I can start jotting things down. Personally, I like to toggle it completely off and just have it do nothing. That way, nothing gets in my way and interferes with whatever I have going on on the, the display. But it's cool that it gives you the option to customize what happens whenever the S Pen is removed. Hopefully, We'll be able to customize this further with maybe an update to Fantastic, but for now, you can do these three things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, where's it at? There's no way it flew that far away. It's behind me. It's on my back. The Galaxy S22 Ultra and the S Pen take screenshots to the next level. Let me show you what I mean. The bird's laughing at me. The bird is laughing at me. The feature is called screen write and it allows you to take a screenshot and then write on that screenshot. So let me give you an example of like a useful scenario. Say I was doing some interior designing or decorating. I could go into air command, then pull up screen write. It's going to take a screenshot. And then from here I can write, draw a square here and put like an arrow and say TV. I could draw like a little flower pot here and say flower that way. I have an idea of how I want to design this room. I could save this and then send it to my colleague or partner or maybe my wife for some ideas on how we want to decorate this room. Let me give you another useful example. Let's say that I'm working at this courthouse and I have someone coming to detail my car and there's a lot of cars in the parking lot and some resemble my car and I don't want them to get confused. I can come outside, pull up my camera, take a quick photo. Then I can go into that photo pull up air command, go into screen write, then circle my car, draw an arrow, and put in front here. That way they know exactly where I parked, what car that I have, and from what angle that I took the photo. That way there is no confusion whatsoever. So here's the thing with air command. You can always access air command by hitting the S Pen button and it will pull it up. So if you wanna hide this icon, you can. I don't find it to be annoying, but I know it might bother some people. To hide it, go into your S Pen settings like so, and then scroll down until you see show air command icon, and then toggle that off, and you can see it hides the icon. But like I said, don't worry. All you have to do is just hit the S Pen button, and it will still pull up air command. It just keeps the screen a little bit more clean and tidy if you hide the icon. So. I don't blame you if you do, but personally, it doesn't really bother me. I'm actually waiting on my Uber or my ride right now, so I figure I have some time to kill. I might as well get some gaming in. The S Pen is a great assistive device for gaming. It allows you to control the movements depending on the game that you're playing. A lot of games aren't supported, but there are a few that are. Like, 
Um, Scribble Racer 2 is great for the S Pen. It's actually built for the S Pen and it's a really fun game. You can also play Alto's Adventure and Badlands. Both of those are great with the S Pen. If you can think of any other games, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely want to check them out. Gaming with the S Pen is still really fun and something that you should try. So I'm actually inside the Uber now. I asked the Uber driver to film me, so it's a little awkward, but um, we'll make do. One of the best use cases for the S Pen is to edit photos and videos. And what's great is you don't have to use the stock photo editor or video editor. You can use an app like Snapseed to really dial in those edits. So if I pull up Snapseed, you can see I have a photo right here pulled up and I can go into my tools, go under brush, and I can use the fine point on the S Pen to brush the areas that I want to edit. So you can see I'm brightening the sky right now. I can also darken the sky if I want to. I can do different things like exposure, temperature, and saturation. So if I want to decrease the saturation of the sky, I can do so. And if you don't want to use Snapseed, you can actually just use your regular photo editor, which gives you a lot of tweaks as well. So if I pull up a photo here and then go into my photo editor, I can really dial in those edits using the S Pen. It's not the same as Snapseed, but what's great is you can also use this in Adobe apps. So if you download Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom, which also incorporate brushes, you'll get a lot of use out of the S Pen because of that fine point. And it's a great tool for um, doing digital art or editing photos and videos. All right, so made it home safely. Shout out to the Uber driver. So there you go. That was several tips and tricks for the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the S Pen. This is seriously one of my favorite, if not my favorite device currently. Does need a few updates, but we'll save that for another video. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any tips or tricks to add to this video, comment down below, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.